Today we're doing some uh, cold and hot load training for some soldiers that aren't familiar with uh, Army aviation and our aircraft. So our crew chiefs, what they do is they explain how to get in and out of the aircraft safely, uh, how to use the restraints, and what happens, uh, how to get out of the aircraft if there is a, an emergency or uh, something other than a typical landing. The aircraft, if you loaded it right now, it would be cold. It's not running. There's uh, uh, the engines aren't running, the blades aren't all, they're not, they're not turning. So we use that term as cold loads. It's easier to communicate. Uh, it's not as, as busy. We, we do that first so they can hear our instructions clearly. We can direct them to, to make corrections if we need to. The next step is to actually turn the aircraft on, hot load training. And then it becomes a little more noisy, a little more confusing, a little more dangerous uh, just because we have more moving pieces. So we just had to make sure we maintain positive control for our passengers where they are in the aircraft at all times. Uh, all the guys were really motivated. They wanted to do this. You know, that's not something that you can always say all the time. But uh, going from a platform from tanks to helicopters, it was just a different shift. And to see the guys react to uh, the different environments, it was really, uh, really great to see. Because any time that uh, our aircraft's running, uh, there is some inherent danger with it. So uh, we try to mitigate that risk as much as possible. Any, anytime we can train with the soldiers, any soldier would be aviation or any other background, uh, any other branch, uh, get them familiar with getting in and out of our aircraft uh, efficiently. It, it saves us time on the ground. Uh, it, it makes it safer and uh, it just makes the flow of, of transitioning in and out of aircraft and get them where they need to go a lot easier. It's kind of what we signed up to do. You know, we, we are a, a troop transport. We transport troops, supplies, ammo, that kind of things, and that's that's our job. It's a lot of a lot of uh, work that we put in as aviation battalion, from the maintainers, the fuelers, to the to the, the crews that actually fly the aircraft. There's a lot that goes in it behind the scenes just to get that one aircraft to take off.